Welcome, Sister Amazons and Witches. I'm Lori the Witchcrafter. So we've entered the autumn season. Uh, the Wheel of the Year continues to turn, and we continue on with our year-in-a-day study. So it's the autumn season, or the fall, and it's time for you to start working on your autumn suit of cards in the Amazon Tarot deck. And, of course, the autumn begins with uh, Maybon, uh, the fall equinox. And so you're going to have a, a Maybon card. Of course, the direction for the autumn is west. Its element is water. Its holidays are um, Maybon, of course, and the second one is Hollow Mass. In this season, we honor the mother or the mother goddess or that season in a woman's life where she becomes a mother. We honor the hearth keepers. We initiate ritual priestesses. And we honor the artists and artisans among us, the teachers, and it's when we build art or make our chalices. So that's where we're gonna to begin today. And I just wanted to share with you um, you know, a little chalice that I make. Now again, I like to make little altar sets and little chalices um, for a couple of reasons. Um, one, they seem to be easier for folks, beginners to make, you know, smaller, um, but also because they travel well. I can throw them in a suitcase um, or in a little briefcase that I have and take them uh, to festivals and to other women's houses. Um, so they're just easy, quick, on the go. Uh, little altar sets. Plus, they don't take up so much room on the altar um, that we can't get other working elements around. And during this time, we also build a little pitcher. Um, it doesn't have to be big at all. What I use this for is it's, a, it's not an altar piece in and of itself, but it's a, a companion piece or a side working piece. Because when, I, um, when we open the circle, I will pour a little bit of water into a little tiny bowl that we're going to make in the winter season and um, mix it with some salt and so I have salt water that then I go around and um, use to cleanse the space. So we're going to be making that today, the picture, the pitcher and the, um, the chalice um, and we're going to continue on using uh, clear glass which I picked up at Michael's and if you saw us in the spring uh, we did the glass um, incense holder and in the summer we did the glass candle holder so today we're going to be working on the gla making a glass chalice and a little glass water pitcher so head on over to the work table with me and we'll get started okay so here we are at the workbench and we are going to make our chalice and a little water pitcher uh, again, um, I picked these up at Michael's, and this was, you know, a couple dollars. This is actually a candle holder. Holds well, a little, uh, I don't know, regular taper candle, and this is a votive candle holder. But I thought if we were able to stack them, what a pretty chalice that might make to match our altar set. Um, again. This piece was like, you know, a dollar, dollar nine, I think, maybe dollar seventy-five, and you know, two ninety-five, something like that. Um, we're gonna try using, and it is an experiment today. I'm trying to make this chalice, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But we're gonna use this uh, E six thousand glue, uh, which is supposed to do very well on glass. So we will do that first. Actually, I think we'll go ahead and, and etch first and then try to glue it up. Um, so with that, we're going to use our Armor Etch, which is glass etching compound or glass etching cream. We'll need a Sharpie marker, a little paintbrush, and whatever stencils or stamps you want to use. Um, so let's get started.
Okay, so we'll take a break and we will wait for these uh, for a few more minutes and then we'll wash them up and see how they look. Okay, so we're back and I've washed all of the compound off and I'm pretty happy with it. That's a nice little water pitcher. And this is going to be our chalice. She came out pretty good. So the next step, or the final step, would be to glue this together. Like so. Now I could have gone out and bought um, a regular wine glass to serve as a chalice and done the same exact thing, or I could have bought a set of them. Um, you know, maybe f do them all the same for the whole coven. Who knows what you might want to do. You could certainly do that. Um, but again, I like smaller things. Um, they travel well. They don't take up a lot of room on the altar. And, and for me, this is about the right amount for a, for a drink offering, um, during ritual. So Again, we're going to use this E6000 to glue this together, and we'll see how it works. Um, they say that, the instructions say that it'll take up to 72 hours for a permanent bond. So once I do this, I'm not going to be able to pick it up and, and really move it around and show you. Uh, but I'll come back and do that after the 72 hours is up. Okay, so let's get started with this and see how it works. It's really an experiment. You know what, I think I'm just going to fill up that whole little space because it wants to run down in there anyway. And this might just give me a better base. Of course, I think it's probably going to take a lot longer to dry out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Don't be afraid to experiment. do it this way. That looks just about right. My goodness, how pretty is she? So there we have it, our new goblet, our new chalice, and our little water pitcher. Wonderful. I think that's going to turn out just fine. Kind of walking around to make sure that it's all square, plumb, and level all the way around. And I think that's got it. Close enough. Okay, so 
that's what she looks like and I guess I really don't need to lift her up and move her around um, I will show you uh, what it how to handle it how the chalice handles uh, at the end of the year and a day study when we come back and we put our, all of our altar pieces together but I'm sure at this point that it is really going to work out just fine so that's it for today Get to working on your chalice, get to working on your little uh, water pitcher. Um, you could even use this to serve, um, you know, just yourself or maybe a partner, a sister witch. Um, some wine, libations, you know, just a, a little pitcher like that might be nice as well. So that's it, and we'll see you next time on the Amazon Witchcrafter.